Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. The way the church spreads their faith tech everywhere, it's like some weird disease. Roots right. This is a really old mining settlement. Everything was nice and crumbly even before the church shot everything to hell. Wonder if the church even realizes what was being mined down here. They're standing on top of the most valuable resource in the galaxy. The miners they have converted will remember. Who would they even sell it to? That's a good point. Come on, let's do some demolishing. I support the small one's plan. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. Drax, how do you keep from breaking your hands smashing through everything? Potathian bone density. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? The flark was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. To wreck everything. Do you know any shortcuts? In case you ain't noticed, the entire geometricals of this place have been flarked. Must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we can even stop something this powerful? <gasps> eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people. When he was in his promise, Drax said Magus was eating my soul. And anything that eats can die, right? That don't sound too scientific. You wish to poison its food supply. Yeah, we're the food supply, so... no. We'll kill it the old-fashioned way. Yuck. I am so done with brains in the Universal Church of Crap. Guardian of Galaxies, Cosmo is owing Bolshoi death. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church goods between us and the Cortex. You coming? Yeah. Cosmo is retaking Tower of Security, where his parts are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Parts too. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. Oh, if it weren't for that fancy pants Nova Core armor, I swear! Kill this guy! We're in this now! Close the distance! Don't let them pick you off! They do not run from me! Those things! Hacky boys! Mark off! Normal attacks are working! Less lethal? The traitors feel the front of our cooperation! Those mines are gonna be an issue!
Everyone is primed for fire! Keep the herd coming! These bombs are making things way too crowded! The traitor must feel the brunt of our cooperation! This poor goon's got brain security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Brain lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Lungs are already gray. You know that. Drax, little help, Evo. Readily. Set her down, bud. What are you doing? That's the way we came. I'll be quick. All those towers and pods. There ain't no zone in here, so it could be anything. I know one of them's half library and half pleasure pod. I really hope it survived. Ha! Hold that for me, bud. Gladly. Right there's good. Done. I've been thinking. Yeah, the nobodies look out for themselves, but they're also paranoid. That's an understatement. So maybe at the first sign of trouble, some of them jumped in their ships and got out. You underestimate their greed. Baker promises power and eternal life. Any ideas, Gamora? I could probably get you up there. But higher. What do the buyers do with all of the brain matter? They buy bone scrapes and spinal fluid too. Why? They're mostly science. Trying to understand the mysteries of the universe or create the next big weapon. <laughs> Careful, this place is practically falling apart. It'll be all of nowhere looks like this soon. It'll get back on its feet. The giant head does not have feet. It used to. One fine tech upgrade. So, about my rays. So they just up and left all this once they discovered the cortex? If by up and left you mean that mutt went barking mad and booted everyone out, then yup. Not surprising. Imagine that thing falling into the wrong hands. Hey Groot, think you can get me up there? Right about there. This seems impertinent to our task. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping? Scoping. This place smells weird. Brains go sour if it sits too long. It smells like metal and I don't know something else. Korea. What's that? The waste product of a large Cartathian slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of. It is unmistakable. One way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. For all we know, that thing's about to blow. Oh, what have they done to you? You, uh, okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. <laughs> Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. I am Groot. 
Uh, Groot's asking if there might be tiny people living inside our heads. Like nowhere. It is a valid question. Many homes are made from wood. Groot, don't listen to the scary man. never tried to take Noah's resources during the war. Don't ever underestimate the Collector's political power. He's got something to bribe everybody. The Church accepts no bribes. They seek only submission. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flarkin Continuum Cortex. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flark Nards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. You know there is a wheel. I, I saw no wheel. Yeah, there ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with church scut. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm gonna be all wrapped through the same junction. Soon to be one less! Now! Crush of tracks! Time to shred them! Flash destroy! Getting real sick of these ships bringing more goons! How many do they have? Got it! One of the gold dogs whack off! Time's up! <laughs> that gap first. Just so you know, I'm reserving the shower indefinitely after this. All right, group, let's make a bridge of our own. Just watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scuts soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. More importantly, we know what we can do. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Who said saving the galaxy would be easy? I do not recall anyone making that claim. After kicking Raker's butt, I wouldn't be surprised if Warlock finds us. That still leaves Mantis. We'll have the Cortex by then. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump back to Lamentis. Careful. It gets a little... Whoa, 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 whoa! Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise, Scutfuckers! Why am down! Wizard, we stand before your temple gates! Come out and die! Somebody on the other side of that wall has had a cave accident! Pop uh, the Nova Core, zombie! Uh, Take two of those and call uh, me in the morning! Man, seems to be enjoying this! Breaker's uh, congregation just lost a member! Please let that totally uh, understand uh, violence! Uh, uh, Quill's killing Luffy, calm uh, now! Music to my ears! Prepare for pain! Don't worry about me, bud. I'm enjoying this! These deluded souls do not 
know when to quit! Chop up the pizza breathing room, bro! I am losing control! My guy keeps dodging my shots! out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Die, scene! Let's do this! Oh, yeah. You got this one! Die! Almost there! Push through this! They will regret angering the Tuffian warrior! Drax, shut him down! We'll tear down this church, wizard! So glad that man's on our side right now! With fervor! Keep on planting these creeps in the ground, Groot! Good riddance. Now the true battle begins. Everyone ready? Game face is on. I have only one face. Well, put it in mean mode. Ha! <laughs> Done! What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Keep an eye out for Nikki. We get her away from these wackos, then worry about finding Warlock, Mantis, and whoever else. I have faith your spawn will be safe. Let's not use the F word. We're not gonna lose her again. Shh! Everyone quiet! What did they do to the Cortex? Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. The fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. Start bombs! Oh, we got you to go around healing his power! 
Just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. Promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat. To... Please, give me an excuse to kill him. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle- I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Damn it! Eh, they ain't getting far. 
got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Dast and Sacro scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercules system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. We're not getting away this time. Down, power down. Hell yeah, Nova Core. The world mind must have. Well, can't say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's gotta be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's gotta have something. Rocket, anything? Uh, what about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. Could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I am group. So would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? <laughs> Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <coughs> Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not, but Spartoi technology is well beyond- Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. I am Groot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Jitari. That is the kind of wildcard we're looking for, just... Not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? This beast cannot operate a ship. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? 
Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, well, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. Groot ain't going back in a cage. No, no but think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going! To Mach Lufour! To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maklu 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Something! Show off? <laughs> hey, if you got it... Destined to crash, try at least to crash into Fin Fight Foom! Nobody's crashing! Oh, we're crashing! These peaks are trench- Whoa! Flark! Just trying to slow us down! Fear! Fear! Stop yelling! Fear! Watch out for the thing, Peter! Which thing? Pretty sure she means all the things! Watch out for the thing! Yeah, I got it! Can we not hit all the things? That is the objective, yes! Oh, Scott! Oh, Scott! <laughs> Glorious! Coming down hard! Hang on to some... <laughs> 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 Bumpy, but we're all okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we're laughing. That's good. It's just, it's perfect. This is us. This is how we park. <laughs> well, this is how Quo parks, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Albender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Now listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow. Thought we could use it if we ever need to hide our identity during a job or something. First of all, a Glarnot mask ain't no identity. Glarnot? They're that gang from the Planet of the Rain's Emeralds or something, right? Or am I confusing them? It's diamonds. Oh, yeah. And B, there's only two jobs I've ever needed a mask. 
The time me and Groot knocked over a top secret lab. Really? Oh, yeah. The other time is when I borrowed a Glarnot mask and accidentally stole Groot from the collector. How'd you accidentally steal Groot? You have to understand, Quill. I was on the run back then. The war was still raging strong, and then Kree scientists weren't exactly happy I left Halfworld. I had to keep a low profile. By robbing the Collector? I was broke. And no offense, but the way the Collector plasters his face all over nowhere like he owns the place. He doesn't own the place. Someone had to knock him off his stupid flarkin' pedestal. Ah, the fact that I was drunk when I did it just makes it funnier. Is there a, a bounty out for you that I should know about? Relax. Anyways, I lifted one of them stupid Glarnot masks from some passed out jerk at Mantlos, stumbled my way to the Collector's Emporium, put on the mask, flashed some shiny rocks I found, and when his assistant's back was turned, I punked him on the head. <laughs> oh, you're unbelievable. I know. It was gravy after that. Once I was sure he was out, I started cleaning out the place. Woke up the next morning on a stolen transport with a bag of loot and Groot. Uh, of course, he was just a baby back then. Barely taller than a weed. Aww, baby Groot. I knew right then and there that I had to take care of him. A cage ain't no place for guys like us. We've been partners in crime ever since. That, I believe. Eh, believe what you want, Quill. Truth is truth. When did you guys rob a secret lab? Eh, it was before we came after you. This Signog named Wheeler reached out to me and group. Wanted us to steal a bioweapon from some research lab in Arago 7. Piece of cake for a crack team like me and Groot. <laughs> wait, wait. And Groot wore a mask for this? <laughs> Man, you should have seen him, Quill. Bark naked except for the stupid mask of Thanos. It was flarkin' hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was until we realized the eggheads on Arago actually hired Wheeler to get us there. Uh, six out of ten times it's a trap. Yup. Turns out they wanted to study us. My implants, Groot's regeneration, super valuable to the right bidder. By the time I realized what was up, they'd got Groot. Locked him in a frickin' cage, Quill. Like an... like an animal. Ugh, that's... terrible. Yep. Well, joke's on them. We weren't about to be turned into science experiments anytime soon. So, I went with plan B. One explosive charge later, and ba-boom, we were home free. <laughs> and the bioweapon? Sold it back to Wheeler for triple the price. Nice. Yep. <sighs> Those were the days. I'll just put this back. I am Groot. Yeah, I think the environment controls are all right. Why? I am Groot. Oh yeah, the garden. I'm sure your plants can... All right, let's do this. Shivering tit which is cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me? Or you want to find Fin Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fin Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no foom poop. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. Testaments to the bravery of those who came before. By bravery, you mean... The legends of raining fire are true! Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death! Well, as long as it's glorious! I'm here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mach 4, like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Trax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive! We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive! 
and we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So in this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? <sighs> Maybe, but definitely not before that. Go team! Looks like a dead end. All right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. I shall pretend it is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, galaxy. You have nothing to fear. They say that his bones cannot be crushed. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? Fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. You can't remember the details because you didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. Does it have big, scary claws? Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? They're Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foon? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. They came here to find purpose, didn't they? To reach Ultath. They were talk of nowhere. They were paying attention. Of course. Many would have been traitors or criminals, truly bound for Sarduth. Some were diseased or dying. Coming all the way out here, wounded, and taking on the meanest monsters in the galaxy? They got my respect. And soon we shall have theirs. What's with all them rectangles? Monoliths. Fine. What's with all the monoliths? What? Is that Okay, team. We can't make quick work of this thing, and we got no right going after Fin Fang Foo. Well said, Peter Quill. It's a breathing room, crew. Smash him up, Drax! I'm Foo's big gun! You got Foo and eat this thing before we got here! Maybe he's not into technical cats? I wouldn't blame him. The spore riddled cat has no apparent weaknesses! I, I do know how to change getting the bellies robbed. Hey! We're here for food, not for you! Since when do you try to talk your way out of a fight? We should switch to the hard stuff! Dodge this! You will defeat this beast! You will capture food! It is our destiny! And don't forget the part about getting rich in the end! Anyone else getting major Sector 9 flashbacks? Its stomach appears soft and punishable! This one mocks our every effort! You struggle in vain! Hey! We're here for food! Not for you! Since when do you try to talk your way out of a fight? Thing reminds me of... What did you call it, Rocket? Off you get, big guy! Our foes shall regret this insult! I thought you'd never ask! You're a big guy! He's reeling! Pile on the pain! You don't have to ask me twice! Yes! Now 
I'll bring on Fin Fang Foom. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is? Boom gonna be than the thing we just bought. Ten thousand. That's what I figured. No one said this was gonna be easy, Rocket. Right, right. But ten thousand times Quill Drax is the literal one. Remember? Obviously, our chances. Are Exactly. We all saw what the church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping till we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. My sister used to paint places like this. Hell worlds? Frozen landscapes. You expect me to believe that Nebula, scourge of a hundred worlds, liked to paint pretty pictures? They weren't pretty. They were sad. Gamora, I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. <sighs> I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Foo's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us! I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. The legends do tell of Fin Fang Foom stalking Maklu's greatest caldera. Good enough for me. We can probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa. Get a load of them claw marks. It's gotta be Fooms, right? He's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah. Uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to cross here, too. Just not sure how. Looks like there might be a ledge hiding under all those rocks on the other side. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. How about Quill? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. His fleshy frame would make a poor instrument of demolition. So, are we sure the Milano's gonna be okay? Because if we end up stranded here... The Milano should be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. And even if we do end up stranded, we shall live like kings off the meat of Fin Fang Foom. If we fall this day, know that it is said Fin Fang Foom takes special care of the skulls of those he deems worthy. Okay! I'm thinking this is step one of a multi step solution to get across this chasm. Alright, what are you doing? So, step two of your plan is crushing us all! I think I see what he's up to. Yeah, crushing us all! Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks. <laughs> Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, well, maybe if we'd listened to you from the start and just gone after Foom... Then we'd probably be dead. We so weren't ready before. I was bored. Everyone get ready! There's something up ahead. I'm pretty sure it sees us, whatever it is. Right, more foam food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything to surprise the perils of this planet. Good advice. This won't hurt, but... You're the new hope for worms on this planet! They shelter inside the rocks, Peter Quill, and come out only to feast on the dead! I for one am ready for your big by Yell a little louder! Maybe he'll come to us! Hope none of the meaty 
meteor is following us right now. I might want hitting some of these worms, though. And the hunt for Fin Fang Fu continues. Okay, let's just think things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finished is what he started and the ritual? Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Fu, it would be an honor of the final act. Eh, I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. There. See? More ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not. But smart ones do. They say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Uh, Lady Hellbender legends all over again. So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Cowardly. I want full credit for the kill. For the last time, Drax. We're not killing Fin Fang Foom. We're catching him to give the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. Seems complicated. Stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me no more. Drax, buddy, you know what to do. Instead of giving her full, any chance Lady H might settle for a few of these. Loving the initiative. So drajo to cloak. So drajo to cloak. Held a door more guard. So has flounder guard. Trajo to cloak, held a gomagath, soltath, flandergath. Uh, anyone ever tell you, you got an enchanting voice? This is definitely in Drax's wheelhouse. So Trajo to cloak, held a gomagath, soltath, flandergath. know what hit him. You will be more resilient than a boulder, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. Honestly, after everything we've been through, 
There's no one I'd rather be doing this with. I flarkin' love you guys. Uh, gross. Some things are better left. Legendary teeth and claws of Fin Fang Foo. You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. <laughs> Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender, and we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? Yeah, and other tangential topics. Fine. Ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No. I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. Boom! It's boom! Yes! Oh, going to go in Yeah, Ominous is right! Galmak, Galmak, Soltaflak. Groot says to put on your sliding pants. Watch out! That's a lot of death to my thing, my skin is so resistant! You seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth, purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What? I heard he wears purple shorts. The ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Melt that one, too. At least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Fruit's practically naked. Fruit don't get cold, but 
He's a big baby in the heat. And that one. Fun toys. What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Oh yeah, the zipper. Man, I gotta fix that. Thing. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. What? Ugh. Well, does it burn? It, it's so. I can't. Jump! It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magic. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? Petey hot guns. No! Captain Fireball. Not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope. No. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Indeed. Almost. He's got you there. Another ride group? I'm Groot. Thereabouts. I'm Groot. How did you know your guns would work back there? They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? Oh, uh, I didn't. So we could have just as easily died horribly. Yep. Clark. It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Star Lord! See? <laughs> Star Lord! Is it just me or did he sound a little irritated? No, nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. Maklu 4 is beautiful, its own twisted way. The trees are indeed twisted, well observed. Groot says the plants here are all mean or stupid. Ah! It burns! Root says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. <sighs> yeah, look, Will. It's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another up there. Nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But 
We're too excited. This love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! We are! Let me in! Flash! Kick! Kick the breathing room, Groot! Oh, you have it! For food. Good! And we're charging him of a meal! Hit him down, Groot! Doc! Toxic tracks! The virgin for our own metal this day! Big muscles using big words again! He is weakened! Attack! Gamora! Cut that! Warms the blood! Or you can ah! fly sweater! Find another snack, buddy! I think they just want to play! You know, to death! I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo! See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. So much for not holding a crutch!
Perhaps these creatures were once spacefaring! You have caught them! Make your peace! Throw that Drax! It's like the whole planet came out to play! Let him come! I got bombs for all! Gamora! Run up and stick it to him! This reminds me of our monster hunt in the prohibited area! Yeah, you think we just turned on a thumper? Form of a new one! Get some breathing room, Groot! Wipe them out, Rocket! Flash sack them! We killed their leader. They should leave us alone now. Or seek revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, uh, this thing has been here for ages. Look, well, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. Oh, please. It's probably the least dangerous thing on this planet. It's just a big hunk of scrap. I'm not seeing a way up there. At least not for all of us. We all succeed or none succeed. Maybe there's something up there that'll help? I am Groot. Hey, Quill. Groot says this thing should hold you if you want to lift. All right, Groot. Give me a boost. Bow, yay high. Yay is not a unit. Groot knows what he means. These snow beasts have wet my head. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. I'm fine. I'm just itchy. It's the end of an ice planet. Or you have life. Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them. They're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. More hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. No doubt it's something that'll try to kill us. This place is like a funhouse of razor blades. Great speech. But I'm not worried. We face meteors, poison zit cats, and abominable snowmen. When to go? Whatever it is, it smells. Bodies. It smells of bodies. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you a bit. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big eyes obelisk sticking out of the caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. Still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. When is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. 
I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. It shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Alright, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're gonna get back up. Or how we're gonna get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo. And Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. up with old Bubblehead? Seemed like an augment to me. Some sort of amorphous biochem- <laughs> I 
magical appendage. Imagine what she could do with all those hands. Don't be gross. What? I didn't mean it like that. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fang Foom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill. Go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's... Nap time! Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom! We're gonna decomboggle your flock at scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of Satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We just roll! Yeah, we're not doing that. Prepare yourself, Fin Fang Foom. You face your final moments. Not final. Capture, alive, just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Any last Foom stories, Drax? You say the Great Beast has one weakness. We spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Trouble. Who's with me? You are Can't believe I'm missing Thanos right now. Take heed! The beast attacks! Hold up, Rocky! Quick! Go, oh, he's stuck in the ice! Oh, you, Drax! With Slash pleasure, Mora! Watch the claws! Jeff Bank! Ha! Not so invincible after all! Yeah! That's two! For the Bane of Ice, Peter Quill! See? Bane of Ice isn't such a bad nickname! Pass! Boom, baby! How you like us now? His opinion does not appear to have improved! One to go! Oh, come on! More fire! Ah! 
Rocket! Firework! Nice, Boom! Easy, Boom! Yes, Peter Quill! Call him into a false sense of security! What is next, Peter Quill? Nice work, Peter! Not so hot now, are you, Boom? Bring it, you overgrown lizard! Coming down hard! Wreck of tracks! Your 
Triumphant! Who must fall in? We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... Heard the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara!
has finally brought the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. The... I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Yes! The noble Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Think we found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust them out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking them? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good, then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Uh, she will, I'm certain of it. All right, let's gear up people. Tie up any loose ends, take a pee if you have to, cause we're not stopping again. <clears throat> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. <laughs> 